Hey everyone, welcome back to this Wikipedia. Today I'm just going to be doing a quick light upgrade on the Mazda and the Cube's driving lights. Uh, I'll just give you an example of what the current ones look like. So as you can see, they're quite a warm white, uh, whereas the headlights tend to be a cool white. Uh, so I've ordered some T10 LED lights. These are fairly standard in the automotive industry. Um, a lot of um, your parking lights, sometimes interior lights, use a T10 uh, and almost universally 12 volts, of course. And in this case, they're 5 watts. So we're just going to swap over one of the lights just so you can see a comparison of what they're going to look like. Excuse my ass. start with the Mazda so I'll just pull out the current one uh, I'll give you a look in case you do have one of these cars so there's a little cover for the headlights uh, with a little tab that you just sort of have to push in in order to get the cover off I'll just pop that aside and then in the back hopefully there's enough light to see this uh, so your parking lights are down in this corner here uh, not to be confused with the headlights Just try and set the GoPro up in here somewhere. I'm not sure if you actually be able to see anything because it is pretty dark. Um, but once you locate them, they're right up in that top corner. Uh, you just need to twist them a certain direction, which of course I can't remember. There we are, so that's the, the stock parking light. So just pull that straight out and insert the new LED. Uh, now keep in mind with LEDs, they do have, sorry, throwing everything around now. They do have a positive and a negative side. So before you put everything back together, just test it out. Uh, because you may need to swap the polarity if they don't work. So it should currently be on right now and it's not, so it means that it just needs to be flipped around. And there you go, boom, that's probably really bright on that. <laughs> and then all you need to do is insert it back in and then repeat the same for the other side. Uh, and this should give you an idea of the difference. Um, so yeah, you can see this is quite a daylight, whereas that's really warm. Um, at the, headla the headlamps on this are a cool white as well. I'll just turn them on so you can see what they look like. So there you go, it sort of definitely matches a lot more on that side than it does over here. Uh, so we'll just repeat the same thing on the other side. Actually, I might just leave them turned on. It's just easier to match it up when it's already on. Match up the polarity, that is. So again, pull your little cover off. Don't forget to put your covers back on. That would be rather silly of me. And these were about 10 bucks for 10 of them on eBay, so about a dollar each, which is even cheaper than, you know, your regular incandescent globes that you'd buy from your auto parts store. Might be hot, watch out for that. <laughs> Never mind. There we are. So you get those back in. And like I said, we're going to do the same on the cube. And some of your interior lights uh, will likely use the same globe, especially the cabin lights, not so much the dash lights. I mean, some of them do, but generally they're either an already colored globe or sometimes they've just got a filter to, to change the color. So they're a white globe and they just 
the manufacturer just sticks a filter over the front of them or a little <laughs> um, what I like to call a globe condom it's just like a, a tiny little thing little cover that goes over the top of the globes to change the color of them um, so once you've got that all clicked back together of course now it's gonna fight with me yeah and that's it so it's real simple job the cube is a little bit trickier because uh, the lights are not quite as easy to get out uh, but we'll go over to that and just have a look just turn these off so let's head over to the cube I've already done one of them just so we know what we're dealing with I'll just turn them on so you can see So as you can see, this side's already done. The other side hasn't been touched yet. Uh, so we'll get that sorted. The cube's a bit trickier because they're really buried deep down in the engine bay. Uh, so you do have to pull out just a few trim clips. Uh, so there's two at the front and also two back here as well. Um, so once you pop those out, you should have enough play to be able to reach down inside because they are right down the bottom but you should have enough play in it to be able to get in there uh, it's also clipped in at the bottom but hopefully I can get away with doing the other side without unclipping everything because they're not quite as easy to get to as the top ones just grab another globe maybe I'll actually turn it off this time so I don't burn my fingers Set you up over here. See if we can get a half decent shot of this. There it is. Like I said, it's kind of compact in here, so it's probably not that much to see, but the globe itself is right down the bottom. You can usually get a hand in just enough to be able to twist it in order to pull the holder out and then pull the globe out. But yeah, it is a quite, quite a tight space down there. So I might have to... Uh, I should be able to get to it. If I put the camera down, I'll be able to get to it. I'll take the watch off. All right. See, it's a very tight space. Like I said, you can unclip the bottom. Um, of the grill if you can't quite reach in there oh, it is very tight all right that globe is still mighty hot it's out let's put an led in no idea where i put the last one it's the problem with these things you go putting them down they just disappear luckily i've got a whole bag full of them so it's all fairly easy to do um, like I said probably turn the lights off first just so you don't burn your fingers um, but just make sure before you stick everything back together just test them out to make sure you've got them the right, right way around so that's it I'm just gonna test it out you're probably staring at the back of the um, grill at the moment so there's nothing to see there but uh, as you can see the globe is on I've just got to stick it back in the grill yeah it is a very tight space that's what she said there are two more clips uh, so these little holes have a clip behind them just here which clips back around the 
the side of the headlight. So don't forget to unclip those too. I'm sure you're thinking that would have helped earlier on when I tried to pull this thing apart without watching the whole video. Uh, and then just reinstall your trim clips. Hopefully you haven't broken any, but if you do, you can usually buy a massive bag of these things for a few bucks. eBay is your friend in these situations. So once you've got all the trim clips back in, you're pretty much done. So there we go, we've gone from a horrible yellow light throw you around a little bit to a nice cool daylight. Um, the headlights in the cube have also been done. Just carry you around with me as I go. So there we go. Um, the headlights in this used to be like a warm white as well, so, and really dim, like surprisingly dim. I'm surprised anyone could actually drive around while having them in there. So yeah, that's it. That's a real simple one and definitely worth, you know, the few minutes to upgrade them and a couple of bucks to do it as well. Uh, I might also look at some of the interior lights in here. So these guys up here, Mazda's also got little courtesy lights behind here, but I'm not sure if they're T10 lamps. They might be a bit smaller because it is quite a confined space. Um, I don't really know if I want to put LEDs in here because they are generally a lot brighter. Um, but we might do that anyway, see how it goes. Might even get a video out of that one too. Um, yeah, that's it for this one, real simple. Uh, but definitely makes a big difference when you are driving at night. Thanks for watching this Wikipedia. Uh, as always, you can subscribe to this channel if you like these kind of things. Uh, feel free to hit the like button, leave me a comment down below. I'll always try and get back to you pretty quickly. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.